good morning, how are you? Just getting my live chat up to see if I can see you guys. There we are. How are you doing today? Kathy, how are you? Oh, Kathy, that's so sweet. I've been worried about you. I know when you're not very well, you know, you, well, you don't like to be chatting and talking about it, do you? You want to just be with in your comfort zone, don't you? You're so welcome, Kathy. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Holly. Good morning. How are you guys? So I've literally just put this on as a live today because I would like to just show this painting that I've done, um, which is going to Truro Cathedral tonight to be raffled for, to raise money. Good morning, Kim. How are you? So raising money for an ambulance to go to the Ukraine. And just a week ago, my friend Kathy just said, have you thought of doing a painting um, with the colours of the choirs that are going to be singing tonight? Oh, and happy solstice, by the way. It's the longest, shortest, sorry, it's the shortest day today and the darkest day, isn't it? Um, so I just did this painting. Well, this is the, the second painting. The first one I did, unfortunately, got some contaminants in it. I don't know if you ever have problems when you're gloss varnishing and when you're waiting for a painting to cure. Often something can happen. I, and in hindsight, I wish I hadn't said I'd give it for raffle because it just put me on a huge amount of pressure to, to get it done. I think next time I do something like that, I'll just do something, gloss it and then and then donate it. Um, so if any of you have got any tips on that sort of thing, that'd be wonderful. So I got it done, got it gloss varnished and I've literally just put the backing on it now. So it's going to go there later. Um, and the idea is that the... The pattern, which is like a helix pattern, you can see the colours of the purple very faintly, which is the other choir and the turquoise is our choir, Notability. And um, we're coming together to sing at the Truro Cathedral today. How's your day going, Cathy? Have you got all your Christmas plans already? Can you see just here the purple running through it? It's quite subtle. And then you've got the turquoise. It was actually, um, when I was painting it originally, it was... Um, There was a, a darker, darker colour, but when I did it the second time, I quite like the subtlety of that sort of um, the two colours coming together. You donated paintings, did you? Oh, oh how lovely. That's amazing, Cathy. It's such a brilliant idea. Oh, it's amazing. How lovely. That's such a thoughtful idea. Do you know what? It's um isn't it funny how when you when you create your paintings, um I like to think that they're all gonna be going to a good home um and they're all gonna be used or bought. But I think that that's one of the nicest things, isn't it, that you can do something else with them and that you don't have to overpaint them or um that they go to waste. So how is everybody today? I can see there are seven people here today. So thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a good day. Which countries are you from? Where are you from in the world? So I'm in Cornwall, UK, and there's an, a fundraiser on tonight, and that's why I'm doing my live today. Um, the fundraiser is 
for an ambulance to go to the Ukraine this Christmas. And there's a wonderful student uh, called James Besant, and he's just released a little video. He's an amazing guy. He's actually the driver of the ambulance to the Ukraine. Now, I'm give a shout out now to my wonderful bestie, Colin. He actually, a year ago, I think it's just over a year ago now, he drove his own car and trailer to the Ukraine from England, filled with medical supplies, and he just did that on his own. So I'm really in awe of him. And this is a, a cause close to his heart as well. And he's got some lovely friends over there now that he just made when he got over there. And he obviously can imagine the, the um, issues that he came into <laughs> with going through customs um, because he wasn't official or anything. He was just going on his own. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Lovely to see you. Thanks for popping in. Kathy and Kim, have you met Mike? What sort of day are you having today, Mike? Are oh, you from the States, Holly? Whereabouts? I'm in Cornwall in the UK, which is southwest. It's as southwest as you can get, really. And um, everything that I paint and do on my art, really, is, is about the woodland and the sea in Cornwall. I was talk talking to one of my lovely Arizonian friends the other day. <laughs> and I said, I'd love to see your woodland not thinking that of course it's completely all desert isn't it it's so funny and so interesting hearing what your surroundings are like yeah so always grateful is kim and dances with aardvarks is mike i think you've all figured that out now so tonight um, we've got people reading poetry, we've got choirs coming together. Uh, our choir is a local community choir and it's more about the community than singing. When we're together we sound strong, when we're on our own we're quite weak and I think that's almost symbolic isn't it of all of us really. That's one of the reasons why I love you guys because painting and sharing each other's work it's just the whole reason for doing it for me. Don't you guys think? So when we get to the cathedral, we've got the youth choir and the Ukrainian choir as well. So it'd be so cool. Ideo, why well, alright, Holly? That's lovely to know. I lived in Michigan for a year when I was 21. I wanted to go to the US and I wanted to study something at the same time. I ended up becoming au pair. Oh, you're Ohio, Granny. Oh, Granny. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Ohio. How cool is that? So you went far, were you? I was in Lansing when I was in Michigan and I stayed with a lovely family. Um, their kids were so grown up. My God, they were four, six and eight. Two boys and a girl. And I had zero experience with kids and they rang rings around me. <laughs> but I soon got used to it all and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Oh, Mississippi, Kim. Oh, I didn't realise. Along the Gulf Coast. Oh, how wonderful. Do you get down to the beach quite a lot? The real DJ Fruit Loops. Good morning. It's awesome here. Thank you very much. How, what's your name, DJ? <laughs> no, I love your name, the Royal DJ Fruit Loops. <laughs> nice one, Mark. Hi, Fruity. Yeah, it's really, really windy here as well. Where are you from, Mike? Whereabouts are you from? Wow. Yeah, outside, it's been raining all morning. And unfortunately, I left the clothes on the line. So um, I had to pull them back in. It's gone absolutely mad with the wind now. Birmingham. In the UK, Mike. You're from the UK? Seriously? Uh, how funny, I didn't realise. <laughs> I suppose with the time zones, I'm so used to, um, you know, this is sort of the time that I'm 
I'd say most productive. I'm from Cornwall, UK, Mike. Um, but then we've got our American friends and our, like, Kathy and Holly and Kim and Tess, obviously, August, all those guys, and Christy. Um, and then the Aussie friends. And we, tr you know, trying to, it's basically, doors are open all hours, aren't they? With our, our crafty community, a lovely crafty community, so supportive. Oh my God, Grant, seriously, Cathy. Oh, and how lovely, you're only four miles from the beach, Kim. Yeah, I, I live within two miles of the beach. Um, and I get in three times a week, even through the winter, because... It does so much good. I tell you what, I was brain fog city um, before I started going in, and I've now got a a team of people, of friends that we all go in every Friday morning, and I go in with hubby normally on a Sunday, and then I go with my Labrador during the week. That's when I do live sometimes, but the reception at the beach is so bad. How did you drive through the snow, Cathy? I remember when I was a nanny um, in Lansing and the father of the family I was staying with, Kobe, he drove so fast through the snow because he was a snow patrol, um, ski patrol guy. And I was on my own in a story achiever, which is the equivalent of like a Sierra in the UK. And oh my goodness, I was so glad I had traction on the wheels. I was going to have to go so fast to keep up with him. And I'd only been driving for two years. <laughs> um, but I love Michigan. And one of the things I love about it is the snow and the, the fact that it's very much four seasons. Um, and you know where Tonya's from, Cathy, we went to Boy Mountains skiing just below. That's my family introduced me to skiing there just below Canada. Um, so we used to, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Blackie, who is, you know, Anthony Kydus out of um, Red Hot Chili Peppers. He, at the time, was going out one of the nannies. And so he took us all clubbing in Grand Rapids. <laughs> it was quite an experience. <laughs> Oh, I bet it was, Cathy. It is scary driving in the snow. I bet you were petrified. My God. Ten f <gasps> Really? Oh, my God. You couldn't see for ten feet? That's scary. So, are you all, are you all sort of sorted for Christmas? Yeah. I was just thinking about where I was in Michigan, nice to go to the lakes all the time. I loved it there. I was so sad leaving the US. It was one of the best years of my entire life. That was in 90, 95. Just giving my age away now. <laughs> but it was, yeah, no, it was gorgeous. And I made some lovely friends. We were put into a, it was called Au Pair in America. Yeah, I hate driving the snow as well, Holly. It's not nice, is it? And um, you were given a counsellor to look after you as a team. And you are just taken to New York and told not to go out. And of course, we had to go out, didn't we? Um, and then you were sort of given your community friends. And there were eight Europeans in that team. Um, and I mean, we just used to go out because there were so many bands playing and that's where I got into the live music really because of Michigan 10 feet Kathy <gasps> oh you've also got snow DJ Fruity Fruit Loops love your, love your name Kim really god that sounds freezing oh my goodness are you going to get much snow is there much Snow forecasted, Kim. Oh, it's good that the snow is melting in Idaho. And Kentucky. Wow. Oh. 
we had a dusting of snow two weeks ago and that was because there was a stream coming right through on the west coast and it literally just was a flurry on the south coast um, and people half an hour ago a half an hour away just had a bit of light rain and it was six degrees difference but that's been it so far Oh really, Kathy? It sounds like you've got a bit of a microclimate there. Yeah, whereabouts in Kentucky are you? Do you have family there, Kathy? Oh really, Kim? Occasional ice storm. It's a thing when it comes it's very very damaging isn't it oh that's lovely Kathy hopefully you'll be able to all get together and it's also just nice nice knowing how your family is isn't it in Kentucky So my mum, who is 80 in May, has found a new love this year. And my dad passed, bless his soul, three years ago. And it's all very emotional because mum was with my dad for 50 or no, 50 years. And, and so she'd been with him since she was 20 and never been with anybody else. And now she's met someone who's a widower and he was with his wife from that age as well and so it's like seeing a couple of teenagers come together it's really sweet they're really sweet together your kids live in kentucky Aww. so they're coming over for christmas day so it'll be lovely and we've got our nephews and everything on the second we do love Christmas. It's a very hard time for a lot of people as well because a lot of people don't have any family and are completely on their own, aren't they? So you're going to Kentucky, Kathy. Oh, that's so lovely. So you, do you go there by plane or do you drive there? Is it, Holly? Right, okay. Is that over the Christ over the next few days, the next over Christmas? Wow, East Coast getting hit with all the snow. Oh, hello Nanette, lovely to see you, thank you. I was just saying to the guys, this is the, um, the second painting that I did for the fundraiser, which is happening in a, a few hours. Uh, I've just literally gloss varnished it and this is the one that's going to be raffled tonight and we we raised I didn't put much on YouTube but we raised 220 pounds in a week which was lovely and it's, it's a drop in the ocean really but it's just a nice to be able to contribute because all the people in the choir are doing so many different things and um, they're doing raffle as well tonight so I hope I'll sell some more tickets when I get there tonight hopefully and um then they'll have an ambulance driving to the Ukraine, which is fantastic. How are you today, Nanette? You having a good day? Oh, I'm not familiar with those places, Cathy. Fort Thomas and Hazard. I'm not. Look at How exciting, Cathy. And you can see all your grandchildren. Oh, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm excited as well. I've got, I'm the hostess this year, so <laughs> I've got to be quite organised. Everything's in the freezer, apart from the veg. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be some veg left. I'm going shopping tomorrow. I don't know about you guys, but when you go shopping this time of year, it's absolutely mad. Um, 
I went into the supermarket yesterday at 7.30 a.m. Um, just to get a few things and it was empty, but within half an hour, it was completely packed. I ended up, it took me three hours just to go to my local shops in the end. But it's just one of those things, you just have to do it, don't you? Have you got your presents already, Cathy? I'm good, thank you, Nanette. Yes, looking forward to the concert tonight, where this painting is going to go. Um, so really chuffed that it came out nicely and that the gloss varnish is all settled now. Um, and I've put a nice backing on the back so someone, could, whoever wins it, can put it up. So the cord is attached to the back. Yeah, it, it does feel like that, Cathy, Infinity. It's, it's a helix painting. So you see the purple and the blue, they're intertwining as a helix. They're sort of double helix in, in and out of each other. Um, but it's also got a soft sort of fading in different areas. So it's, it's, it is, yeah, Infinity is a lovely name for it, actually. Yeah. The actual symbol of infinity, isn't it? it? When you start doing it initially, it ends up, it starts off with several of them, but as you tilt and spin, you end up with really two, but you can see at the end, there's one here at the end, and there's another one at the top as well. Number eight, yes. Talking of numbers, Nanette, do you know how to work out your life path number? Oh, thank you, Mike. Yeah, I <laughs> see what you mean. Black hole in space. The space telescope picture. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, guys. You're really giving me some ideas now. I mean, it came from the idea of the energy of the purple and turquoise choirs, which is our uniform colours, coming together and connecting and singing out. And it feels like it is going out to space, um, space and time, you know, because we're on different times. I love things like that because I think we're all connected. Um, my life number is a number eight as well, which I didn't realise until you just said that. Do you know how to work out your life path number? Nanette and Holly, or anybody really, you basically add up your date of birth and that gives you your life number. So say for example you're born on the 7th of March 1980, it would be 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8 and then that would add up to your life number. And good morning, Tonya. Lovely to see you. Thanks for popping on. Um, and when you see, if you're, for example, a, I'm a 26 eight, uh, I've got two people in my life who are very close to me who are also 26 eights, including my mum. Um, and I just love working out people's life numbers because my husband is a one and eight and one equals 10 equals completion. But, you know, it's, it's just interesting looking at numbers. I love it. Have you seen Tonya's beautiful present unboxing? And have you seen Chuck the Duck? It's really cute. And Kath, have you seen Kathy's latest video? Go and have a look at Kathy's channel. She's got some wonderful things. Also, I want to give a shout out to Cassie today. Bless her. She's, you know, been moving house and having a difficult time. So... If you pop on and see her latest video, she's done a lovely one, experimenting with enamel. And Nanette has got a beautiful last video, very Christmassy, really enjoyed that. Holly, I'd love to see your channel. If you, um, I don't think you can, I'll make you a, a moderator. And if you fancy dropping your latest video in here, I'm more than happy for you to do that. And I'll do that for you, Kim, as well, not adding you as moderator. So any of you guys, if you want to put in a link to your videos, 
have a little drop in here. I, now, I don't think Kathy's got a, a latest, well, she's got a latest one, but not in the last few days. But Kathy, if you fancy just dropping in your latest video. Yeah, it was Venom, wasn't it? Christmas one. It's that time of year, though, as well. You know, it's hard to keep up with everything. It's hard to, you know, keep communicating what you're doing as well. Things drop off to drop off, don't they? Yeah. So what time is it with you guys? It I always find it interesting. So EST time is five hours before here. Yeah, there's a lot happening, Kathy, isn't there? Oh, brilliant, Tonya. I'll definitely have a look. Go for it, Kim. Go for it, Kathy, Tonya, Holly, and Mike, if you're still here, just pop your links in here. Um, and then when people watch it back, they can see, or we can all go to each other's channels afterwards and have a little look. So what are your plans for today then? What are you guys up to today? You've got to go to work, Tonya, yeah, of course. 5.48 a.m. You need you leave work soon, don't you? So I've got a couple of hours to get all my bits done and then off to sing. We'll be hanging around for about three hours doing sound checks and stuff like that and I'll be selling some raffle tickets and then we'll sing. And then up in the morning, I was going to say, guys, that Hey, so cool to see you here, Nathan. Thanks for dropping in. You're about to go to sleep. Oh, thank you. Well, hopefully you'll have sweet dreams tonight, Nathan. And it's lovely seeing you here. So this painting, I was just saying, Nathan, is um, going to raffle tonight for... We're all singing, basically, at Churro Cathedral tonight. The choir, local community choirs. Not that we can sing. <laughs> but we enjoy singing. So there'll be loads of people that sing like they're singing in the choir. I mean, in the shower, in the choir. And I was just thinking that, because we're raising money for an ambulance to go to the Ukraine, that I would do this sort of helix painting. And, and the guys were just saying it looks like an infinity painting. And I think it is, because I love all things like that, things that connect us, you know? Um, so I thought I would put it on a live and show the finished result. It's all now being glossed and everything so it's such a relief to have it all done you're charging your workshop are you mike oh that's so interesting i want to hear more about that islamic geometric panel mike geometrics are very fascinating when you say you've got space to do this geometric panel what are you making it out of mike and Nathan, I really cannot wait to see your video. Nathan has done a chess set in resin. Wow. That is going to be a video so many people will want to watch. Michael was saying, Nathan, that he, I mean, I don't know if he saw my, he saw my message. It was in a fast chat the other day, but um, he's really interested in learning how to do a chess set as well. Nathan, so that would be really cool. Night, night, Nathan. I think he's gone to sleep, you guys. Yeah, I imagine. Mike. Yeah. And the thing is, when you've got a piece of paper that size, you need to be able to walk around the table as well, don't you, when you're doing your design. Hey Nathan, isn't that a cool name? DJ Fruit Loops. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows or if DJ Fruit Loops knows, but Nathan was a DJ. 
You're in a band, aren't you? <laughs> oh, well. It's so, do you know what? I love you guys so much. It's such a wonderful community. It's so nice seeing you pop on and comment and and just support each other, really. And you're so much fun. Always make me smile. <laughs> you said it, Mike. Nathan is a fellow Fruit Loop. I think we're all Fruit Loops, aren't we? It was an epic build. Oh my God, 30 hours. That stays in my mind. Three weeks. And it was, it was your uncle's 70th, wasn't it? It's so sweet. Such a sweetie. Are you still in a band, Nathan? I'd love to hear some of your rock and rolling. What type of music? I know, Antonia, 30 hours. That's nuts, isn't it? Real dedication. And also, I can imagine you getting so absorbed in it and how lovely that he did it from start to finish. It looks amazing. I was just saying to the guys, if you'd like to, uh, feel free to drop a video in the chat with your latest video or a video that you'd like us to see, because I'm quite happy to go and hop on, have a look, and also we can share it with other people. And you're all moderators now, apart from Mike. So I'm just going to make you a moderator, Mike. Oh, seriously, Nathan. Oh. Oh, no. So sorry to hear that. It's amazing you've played for 30 years. Do you think you'll be able to play again? Bless your heart. If that's something you've done for so long, is there a way that you can get back to doing it? That's very true, Mike. Very, very true. We would not have seen your creations. You wouldn't have turned to art if that was the case. And the way that you manage everybody. And, you you know, the poor Rembrandts, my goodness. That's when I really started to get to know you, Nathan, when, you, when you'd done that. Total respect. Thanks, Tonya. That's great. So that's Tonya's videos there. She did yesterday and there's one that she's popped in that will be available in three hours that's great Tony. i mean it's just i don't know about you but i much prefer when something is dropped in front of my nose because yeah you see notifications but i'm not always on my phone so i don't always see things pop up and i don't have any sound notifications it's only ever visual um otherwise i think i'd be a nervous wreck wouldn't you guys, if you have sound notifications pinging all day? Because this world we live in now, right now, we've got to really work out ways to be in control of social media rather than it sort of being in control of you, eh? 
Did I get your message, Tonya? I, I can't check my phone at the moment because it's it's doing the live, but I'll definitely have a look after. I haven't sort of looked at my messages proof for like the last half an hour or so. So I hope you have a gorgeous time at work. A gorgeous time at work. <laughs> if you've got your fun colleagues and everything. What did you, can you say it on the chat, Tonya? I'll have a look, I'll have a look in a minute. I'm going to switch off shortly. Oh, Nathan. Well, brand new drum kit. Have you tried starting really slowly and gently, Nathan? Just literally holding a baton and doing it gently and using it in a different way. Oh my God, Nathan, that's heartbreaking. When um, Holly was on just now, um, she was just saying about how near the sea is. I tried to do a live going down to the sea um, last week and the week before, and I literally just was experimenting with it. And a few people popped on, there was Christy and August, and Taz popped in, and Louise and um, Linda. And the reception just isn't good at all down there. So yesterday I went for a swim with Eve and I did a time lapse. You can't actually see our bodies, but you can see us swimming quite, you know, going down to the sea and swimming along. It's like two figures, little black dog and me going upwards and down, upwards and downwards. And the clouds moving quite quickly towards you. And it's, it's really dramatic because here it's been a whole grey week really heavy grey skies, no rain, but really heavy and grey. Um, and it was just a bit of fun and I thought it's better actually recording it rather than doing a live because it gets pixelated. So I'm probably not going to do a live at the beach, not for not until I go to another beach, it's a bit more Wi-Fi oriented, but to be honest with you, it's quite nice not having Wi-Fi at the beach, isn't it? Nathan, you're going to be okay. I get that, Nathan. It is a huge mental barrier, isn't it? It's fear. fear is such a powerful emotion. It's not actually labelled as emotions, it, but it, fear is so powerful. And you've got this. We all have to do our things in our own time, don't we? I don't know if you know, but I had, um, oh, what's thing, vertigo. I could barely walk to the bathroom about two years ago, and that's when I started doing my painting, really. Um, it was hormonal, but also lots of other life stresses. And um, I got Bell's palsy. Um, I, you know, just a lot of, sort of brain disorientation basically with navigation and stuff like that and often when I'm looking at a screen I lose um, a visual thing so that's one of the reasons why chats I find quite hard to keep up with but uh, the, the spoken one's much easier for me but um, I started sea swimming and I started to really gently just walk again and um, lots of tears lots of healing um, and I just now just connect with things that bring me joy so you can do the same as well Nathan and you are doing the same and you bring so much joy to so many different people it's it's one of the things that makes me feel so uplifted about life when people can look after each other and share that's all there is I think really because at one you know one day we won't be here I just say Nathan about my mum um, finding a, a new partner after dad passed, bless his heart, bless his soul. Um, and she's found love again at 80. So when things happen like this, 
you know, it gives you a bit of inspiration, doesn't it, Nathan? Thank you, Nathan, that's really sweet. And yeah, I think we've all had hurdles in different ways and we all continue to do so. And I often wonder, I always think that some, everyone's got something going on, haven't they? But, you know, if you ever need any support or someone to chat to, I'm always here, Nathan. Grand Aunt Kathy, it so is. It's like, um, it was called BPPV to begin with, but I didn't know what I had. So I went onto YouTube and then I ended up going to A&E. Um, but it kept coming back. It's more of a visual, visual walking left side thing as well. It's a strange thing. You had it as well, yeah. Yep, yeah, Clear Maneuver works amazingly. But I think also when you when you don't when the doctors don't know what's going on, they don't they don't know what to do to help you. And we also live in a part of the world that's very cut off, like London if it was London or somewhere like Bristol probably have a slightly different inquiry perhaps about helping you. But I ended up just looking it up all up online and I helped myself. Um, and also, if it wasn't for the support of my friends, family, you know. I'm so glad that you're okay, Cathy, when you had it. I love that name. That fits it perfectly, Nathan, the final art of distraction. It is a distraction, isn't it? And you know what else I find it? healing so healing like when I get into the zone I can lose myself for hours days I think you hide your art as well Kathy it's a very personal thing isn't it sorry Mike what does that mean BRB am I being thick but I think as artists it is a bit like that isn't it I mean this painting here I'm showing it now but actually I was persuaded to, well not persuaded, I wanted to do it and I did it and then suddenly before I knew it, it was then going to be on display at the, the cathedral and I thought oh my god and I thought I feel really nervous about it but I've done it now and I've just thought you may, you know what, you might just go for it. <laughs> and like every time I put a piece of um, art out there, I just go, I just imagine that I'm sending it to a friend now rather than putting it out there. I would be right back, of course, Cathy, thanks. <laughs> Nathan, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it is very strange. Um, vertigo. As I look out the window right now, the bit that I've still got is that it makes my head feel funny when I look out at a distance. So the only way I can it's called and this is called perceptual vertigo. So basically it's what you're left with if you've had it for a for a long time, over a week sort of thing, um, because we're on for about a year. Not the BPPV, but the, the Vertigo. And I, I joined an Australian group called Rock Steady, and during lockdown, and I met some amazing people on there. And it's not just about Vertigo and tinnitus; it's about the whole thing, balance system. She's amazing, the woman that runs it. Um, but if I look out the window now. I almost can't see where the wall is when I look to a certain degree and then I look to the window and then outside and it makes my head feel funny. Whereas I didn't used to have that. But it's so much better and it's getting better, so that's really cool. So lovelies, I hope you have a really lovely day. Thank you. I really appreciate you hopping on and saying hi. It's made my day and um just knowing that we're all in it together. It's just nice having a little chat, showing my art today and sharing some time with you all. So night, night, Nathan, sleepy tight. Um, I might just wait for Mike to come back on and say goodbye. Have a lovely Christmas, everybody. Thanks, Nathan. Jinx. <laughs> Love you too, Cathy. Aww. Just wait for Mike quickly to say bye bye. Um, thank you everybody who's been here. Don't forget, do you want to quickly drop a link in of one of your latest videos? Um, 
links and I'll put in the comments that people have dropped links in in the comments and I'll pin it. Have a wonderful day guys. Okay I'll give you five minutes pop your links in and then I'm shining off. Oh, I, I meant to say, guys, if anyone heard of Milk Tray or Quality Street brand chocolates? Because that was what my last purple video was inspired by. <laughs> Most of it's inspired by art or chocolate. Um, and the James Bond advert is the one with the Milk Tray. But basically it's it's those lovely toffee sweets that you have in your classical chocolate brands you probably have a similar one in the US so ciao for now guys happy holidays Holly don't forget you can all pop in your links I'm just just going to leave it for a couple of minutes so everyone can pop a link in if they fancy we've got Tonya's there and if you fancy putting yours in just pop in a link and I could pop Put it in the comments that people have got their links in there. Thank you for being here, Holly and Mike, Kathy, Nathan, Kim, DG Fruity Loops. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas and all my love.